thanks very much. It's a great pleasure to be here on the first day uh, of one of our biggest ever programs of business conferences. And the title of this session in the Long Gallery is Go Out, Go Global, Building an International Brand. And frankly, there's no better way of doing that than hosting the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Tonight, around 4 billion people will tune in to the opening ceremony. And I think we've estimated the publicity is worth billions of pounds for the UK alone. And every day of the Games will be another incredible chance to show the world what Britain represents today. And of course, if any nation understands what the Olympics can do, uh, and the Olympics and Paralympics can do to project a country's image across the globe, it has to be China. Staging the Games four years ago, in many ways marked a breakthrough in terms of how China was seen by the rest of the world. It was a symbol of your emergence as an economic superpower and a fantastic demonstration of the strength and potential of the Chinese market. And in recent years, as the Foreign Secretary said in his opening remarks, business links between Britain and China have grown inexorably. We've got Chinese companies like Shanghai Automotive's technical centre at Longbridge, employing around 400 staff, and Huawei, a company I've got to know well as the Minister for Communications, with 12 UK sites well placed in the UK to further globalise their business. Last year, our Prime Minister David Cameron signed more than a billion pounds worth of trade deals following a summit with Premier Win Jiebu. We will continue to do all we can to provide a welcome environment for Chinese business and investment and to support emerging Chinese brands as they take their businesses to the global markets, including the UK. And of course, that's really what this session is all about. It's about understanding the challenges, spotting the opportunities, and learning a bit about how the UK's very advanced creative sector can support China in the next stage of her economic growth. And why Britain? Well, the fact is we've always been an active trading nation. Out of instinct, out of necessity, we've never looked inwards. We've always looked outwards for our economic growth. And as a consequence, we've always been at the forefront of branding, marketing, advertising from the earliest days onwards. The creative industries in the UK are a huge British success story. We've got one of the world's largest and most successful creative sectors, worth an estimated £20 billion. And we have a unique spirit of innovation and creative energy, which I think gives our UK businesses a real edge. We're Europe's leading exporter, for example, of television programmes, and in fact, second only to the US globally. UK architects are in high demand nationally and internationally, and they include world-famous names like Richard Rogers, Norman Foster, and Zaha Hadid, two of whom are in the room next door. And Zaha Hadid, of course, designed the Aquatic Centre for the London 2012 Olympics, as well as Guangzhou's new Opera House. And, of course, who can forget Thomas Hetherick's iconic design for the UK Pavilion at the 2010 Shanghai Expo, which not only won Britain a gold medal at that expo, but also the Royal Institute of British Architecture's prestigious Lubetkin Prize. And UK advertising is among the most advanced in the world, a global leader in its integration of communication channels and digital innovation. In fashion, in video games, and in film as well, Britain is a world player, and I hope we can see stronger links built between China and the UK in the months and years to come in all these creative sectors. And I'm particularly proud of the great campaign we're running at the moment. One of the, most, one of the biggest and most ambitious government campaigns we've ever run, with Shanghai, Beijing and Guangzhou among the cities uh, which we've uh, displayed uh, our wares. So hopefully many of you will have seen the adverts back in China. And what I think great reflects is the unique strength and understanding we've got of how you build a brand to compete in a global context. And if one man embodies this expertise more than any other, it has to be Sir Martin Sorrell. He's been chair of WPP, one of the biggest ad agencies in the world, for more than 25 years. He's a world expert and authority, and it's my pleasure now to hand over him to him to begin the discussion with an overview.